Hello everyone, nice to have you all back on today's menu, another part of our KI Chatronic chapter. Today we will change the bottom half of this assembly consisting of the following components. Mixture regulator, air mass sensor and fuel flow divider. How to unbolt it the proper way was the topic in a previous video. Link to that video is in the video description below. Today we change the bottom half which is a rigid cast rubber boot. This rubber here which conducts the air which is sliding alongside the baffle plate. A little job on the workbench. We got the assembly right here. Why change the rubber boot at all? Because over years the rubber gets worn out, losing its properties, wear and tear, cracks. It is cracks that allow undesired air intrusion. Your idle goes up and down in constant all the time. You have checked and changed everything prior to unbolting this assembly, such as vacuum hoses, components of all sorts involved in the key Eichetronic Orchestra, then this is most probably the culprit you're looking for. The cracks let in air and change the fuel air mixture. Actually, it happens quite often. Therefore, I made it a topic for a tutorial for our channel. This one here looks all right to me. The cracks are hard to spot. Need to press against it firmly with your fingers. Checking or changing this rubber boot is ultima ratio after all other checks on all other components involved in your KE Chetronic have been performed. The frame which holds the bottom rubber boot is being kept in place with 11 bolts. I am repeating myself, every bolt has to go to his previous position, you cannot interchange them. This is what I use for my bolts to remember the right position. I'll start right with those 6 bolts here, put them in the box to get it done vice versa afterwards. The bolts do differ in length, they absolutely must go back to the previous position, otherwise the frame that holds the rubber boot is not airtight and leaving gaps which allow air intrusion. Alright, bolts gone, I lift off the bottom frame, this is what it looks like from the inside. Baffle plate is partially stuck and well not moving freely. The rubber boot is being held in place by a lip that fits snugly into the frame. Part numbers to be seen in the drop downs below for engines M116 and M117. You just push the rubber out of its aluminium frame. You just change them when they are broken so you do not need to care. But this one is a demonstration and this rubber boot is intact, therefore I'm a little more careful. Take your time, do it inch by inch, press with index finger and thumb from both sides. This is how you check for cracks. Press firmly against the rubber, you will spot damaged sections instantly. This much concerning the rubber boot, now let us bolt everything together. Let us start bolting, make sure to use the appropriate bolt for the matching hole. I'm not tightening the bolts right down yet.
Now the bolts here from the bottom side, three bolts. Mercedes do not have information about torque of these bolts. Let me hammer away on this right bolt to corresponding hole, including these three bolts in the bottom, especially right here. If bolts are too long, you could damage the potentiometer. We do not want this to happen. Count yourself lucky if you find another broken component of the KE Chetronic Orchestra because dismantlement of all these parts here is a time consuming job. To make it easy on yourself try to spray start pilot at certain spots at the frame holding the rubber. If revs go up instantly for a second you will have to come to the conclusion that this part is broken. Then. There is no way around it, you need to unbolt it.